वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वाई पैरामीटर फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क सो हियर आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क बाई वाई पैरामीटर्स सो इफ यू सी हियर वी आर हैविंग अ सर्किट एंड इन दिस सर्किट वी आर हैविंग वी वन आई वन वी टू आई टू विद दिस टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क and when you want to calculate y parameters first of all you will have to check whether given network is simple t network or pi network in that case by solving only two equations we can have y parameters but here i don't see this is simple t or pi network so here i'll have to follow basic standard process of calculation of y parameters so what is that basic standard process so see y parameters those are short circuited parameters so for that you will have to short circuit one port for example if you short circuit port 2 in that case v2 will get zero and you will be having i1 by v1 that is y11 and you will be having i2 by v1 that is y21 right and in second case we will be shorting port 1 at the time v1 will get zero and will be having i2 by v2 that is y22 and we'll be having i1 by v2 that is y12 i'll show you how to calculate that step by step so let me redraw this circuit by considering this port 2 is a short circuit so now what i'll be doing is now port 2 that i'm going to short so you see i'm providing short circuit at port 2 so as if i provide short circuit at port 2 what will happen this v2 that will get zero right now you see what is happening this short circuit is shorting this one ohm resistor so i don't need to connect this one ohm resistor at as it is getting shorted right now you see this is the equivalent circuit which we have once we provide short circuit at port 2 now our agenda is to identify a ratio of i1 by v1 that is y11 and i2 by v1 that is y21 let me show you how to do that so for that you just see this circuit carefully in that you see with this branch we are having current i2 right with this branch we are having current i2 and at this node we are having voltage v1 right so what i will do is first i'll calculate current i2 which is happening in this branch so what is the value of this current so as per the direction you'll have to find the value of this current so see it is happening in this direction so that will be tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance so here you see tail voltage that is 3v1 and head voltage that is v1 so 3v1 minus v1 divided by resistance that is 1 so i can say the value of i2 that is equals to 2v1 so i can have i2 by v1 that is y21 and its value is 2 mo and see this is also referred as forward transfer admittance in y parameter now what i want is i want the relation of i1 and v1 that will gives me y11 right so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be considering current over here let us say it is i dash and let us apply kcl at node v1 so what will happen entering current is equals to leaving current so entering current is i1 and i2 and leaving current is i dash so i can say i1 plus i2 that is equals to i dash now see i1 that we need to have in terms of relation now what is i2 so i2 that is tail voltage minus head voltage so tail voltage that is 3 v1 head voltage is v1 and divided by resistance so that is i2 resistance is 1 ohm in that branch that is equals to i dash i dash is how much tail voltage is v1 minus ground so v1 divided by 2 that is i dash 
right now if you simplify this then you will be having relation of i1 and v1 so you see here i am taking v1 common and here i am having half now you see here we are having 2v1 right so on other side it will be minus 2 so i can say i1 by v1 that is y11 and that is half minus 2 so half minus 2 is how much that is minus 1.5 mo and y11 that is input admittance so this is how we can have y11 and y21 now what i'll do is i'll provide short circuit at port 1 now what i'll do is i'll provide short circuit at port 1 so you see i'm providing short circuit at port 1 so that will result into v1 is equals to 0 now see how many things will happen inside so as if this v1 is 0 this is shorted over here so this resistance that will get short so i'm removing this resistor right and you see here we have voltage that is 3 v1 so v1 is 0 so even you should remove this voltage source so i'm removing this voltage source and that is what equivalent circuit which we have when port 1 is shorted now our agenda is to identify relation of i2 and v2 and i1 and v2 so when you want to calculate relation of this i2 and v2 that is just impedance looking from here right so impedance v2 by i2 so that is just one parallel one so one parallel one that is i v2 by i2 so that is half now in y parameter i2 by v2 and that is y22 so reciprocal of this is 2 mo so this is y22 that is also referred as output admittance or you can say that that is also port 2 admittance now i wanted to have a relation of i1 and v2 right now how to get that relation of i1 and v2 so for that see if you observe here we are having voltage v2 across this 1 ohm resistor right so across this 1 ohm resistor we have voltage v2 and simply if you apply kvl in this loop right so in that case see this v2 that is happening from minus 2 plus so that will be plus v2 that is equals to now you see in this direction i1 is there in opposite direction to the loop so that will be minus i1 into resistor that is 1 so i can say v2 is equals to minus i1 so i1 by v2 that is equals to minus 1 and i1 by v2 is what it is y12 right and that is referred as reverse transfer admittance right so that is how by simply applying kvl and kcl we can be able to solve y parameters now here let me write the matrix of y parameter so for that you should know that y parameter matrix that is y11 y12 y21 y22 and the value of y11 that is minus 1.5 the value of y12 that is minus 1 value of y21 so that is 2 and value of y22 so that is 2 so this is a matrix of y parameter for given circuit i hope you have understood this here only thing is you should do practice of kvl and kcl equation only thing is for y parameter calculation you should know that here we are dealing with two short port right so first you will be shorting port 1 and then you will find y11 and y21 after that you will be shorting port 2 
sorry port 1 and then you will be finding y22 and y12 so that is what the case which i have done it over here only thing is you should you should do practice along with me i have placed many examples here definitely that will helps you to understand how we can solve y parameter easily thank you so much for watching this video